When rain fell, families who live along Spring Avenue in Maracas Valley could barely get to their homes without the constant fear of injury. On Friday, the National Commission for Self-Help Limited handed over a newly paved concrete road to residents of the area. Minister of Sport and Community Development Shamfa Kojo Lewis said the concrete road and accompanying box drains cost over $700,000. It's the little projects like these that make the world of difference. Oftentimes we don't pay attention or we don't know that you also have access to come together as a community and lobby and rally for these little infrastructural uh, projects in your area. Member of Parliament for St. Anne's East, Dr. Nian Gatsby Dolly, said the new roadway will have a positive effect on the residents of the area. This road that may look like a small road to some means so much to the people who have to traverse this area. When I came here and I saw the track and at that time Popola who has passed on but her family is still here, she was advocating that you know she wants to be able to walk up that hill a little easier for her people to drive up the hill. Grandson of Popola, Romnell Christom, said it means a lot to him that he can drive his vehicle all the way to his door. I can remember carrying up my grandmother on a chair. And I get fellas to help side by side because she could not walk in the late half to carry her up the hill and bring her back down. The ambulance come, we had to carry her down. And, but you know, she passed away and gone now. She's no longer with us, but at least now you could, um, the ambulance could go straight up. The minister said the project, the first for fiscal 2024 to 2025, was completed on time and within budget. Terry Ann Brown Campbell, DTT News.